my name is Michelle. I'm from Malaysia. I am now 39. I can't believe it is 39. I'm 39 already. Okay, so I, I've got a, a business. Uh, we're doing soap manufacturing, cosmetics manufacturing, um, all handcrafted stuff. And I've got family, four young kids. My husband works from home right now. And I also teach at home. I've been an active person all my life. So since high school days, I was always with team sports um, and also individual sports. So I was after picking up Capoeira and that was the beginning of this, this half of my life's major training. So into my second child was quite apparent that there was no way that I could continue with the intensity that I um, was previously able to commit to. Because now you've got two young children and trying to make sure that you're present as a parent. Uh, that was really challenging and for me training meant I had to be somewhere else there was uh, there was no uh, no concept at the time or I wasn't familiar with the concept of uh, training on my own at home so and that was a uh, for me it was it, I had to choose and I didn't like it I think that was a time where uh, I was I already started pole as well and I stopped because I found out I was pregnant with my third kid so I, I stopped pole dancing and there was a long, 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 long break. So I had no training for capoeira, no training for uh, pole for about, I took a break for seven years. And uh, yeah, so seven years of doing pretty much nothing. And by the end of it, I had enough. I said, I had to try uh, to go back to train again. But my first program was actually vitamin. And then maybe two years or a year and a half later, I picked up integral strength. Um, the idea of progressions was helpful because it gave the confidence that you, if you don't, if you are not at a skill level that you can do this movement, you can dial it down a notch by doing this. That was also, it came across as a signal to say that you can try these movements, but be aware if your body is trying to tell you, no, you're not ready for it yet or learning how to dial it down a notch and then just try with a movement that is more comfortable um, at a comfortable level for you. It's just so refreshing, so kind. My training sessions in the past have always required gearing up somehow, whether it's a swimming suit or my, my trainers with uh, my basketball shoes or whatnot. Uh, it, it was a whole ritual to itself. But I love how now my mindset is more of like the training can happen anywhere. And this is uh, uh, the, this is a philosophy that I love. You know, you can move, you can move. If you can move, you can train. Uh, so now like all my training can actually happen at home. So we settled into this nice uh, routine where I would actually do my work, 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 work as in my, my business thing and in the mornings and then I will also plan for classes maybe sometime in the afternoon then come four o'clock it's like on the dot bang I'm out here to start training whatever it is whether it's for a GMB or just some uh, like maybe some capoeira drills or just simple conditioning stuff but but right now uh, the recent injuries that I had were actually quite brutal because when we work with pole, I mean, this is the first time in my life that I actually work with an apparatus where we're dependent on an apparatus being in such close contact and such heavy contact on our body. So I took to actually revisiting vitamin for just doing movements on the ground and revisiting some of the, the exercises from there. And then I also took up integral strength, which I really dived into during the lockdown period. And for integral strength, I think that really, really helped me um, get back my, uh, rather not get back, but it's more like get back the confidence that uh, I need to feel strong enough to go back onto the pole. So one of the things that I grapple with, I have to grapple with um, quite a lot, is that uh, with, my, with my physique, I tend to um, spin around the pole very, very easily. So, uh, I used to get scared of that a lot, and rightly so because I've fallen from the pole before. <laughs> but but uh, that was actually one of the uh, things that was keeping me back from trying um, like slightly different tricks or slightly different varieties of tricks because I simply was not comfortable with going fast around the pole. But after doing 
um, some conditioning things with um, with GMB's exercises and just stuff that I'll try on my own and do, having more focused training sessions. Uh, I tried it again and just for fun, I was just, just freestyling to some music. And I was so surprised that the first thing, when I went, when I inverted, I actually pulled off a move where just a few months prior, the, the first thing that came to, that, that would come to mind is that, okay, you've got to slow down. And when I came down after that, I was just so happy because I was not feeling fear. And I was more, it was not a feeling of overconfidence either. It was, but the end result was that I had done something that I was not able to do before, not with confidence. And I loved it. I suppose at this point in time, being able to still achieve new skills, to learn new things, um, it's, it's very revitalizing for me. Uh, it, and it makes me feel almost superhuman to be able to do these things uh, at my age and, and not say that the best years are behind me. In fact, I, I feel that now, as I'm approaching 40, I'm the, I'm the most robust physically uh, as I've ever been. Just knowing that the body can learn new things and to try out new things, being daring to do that. Um, that is, uh, to me, that is essential and it's so important. But I, I think the main thing was that GMBs, the, the, the thing that really resonated with me and I think will continue to do so is that it's just the philosophy of training as a part of life. It's not, it shouldn't be all consuming. Um, it's the training that we do is really meant to help us be better people. Uh, in whatever whatever uh, capacity that we are serving our community. I wish I had uh, discovered GMB a bit earlier and who knows, I would be doing some other things right now. Or, but I'm just grateful anyway, like everything has just happened so perfectly. And,